Nigeria's Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Latif Fagbemi, says the federal government is giving priority to the fight against corruption and other financial crimes through its key policy document under the Renewed Hope 2023 Action Plan. Fagbemi, who disclosed this during the unveiling of the Elon Zonal Command based of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, said the policy document is built around strengthening anti-graft agencies, personnel capacity, and improving law enforcement agencies across the country for efficient and effective service delivery. The Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Latif Fagbemi, in his opening remarks, noted that plans are underway to further strengthen the capacity of anti-graft agencies to enable the Commission to deliver on its core mandate of fighting financial crimes in the society. Bona Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, has accorded high priority to the fight against corruption, economic and other financial crimes through its key policy document, quote, Renewed Hope 2023 action plan for a better Nigeria. Critical to Mr. President's agenda is the commitment to strengthen the policy and legal frameworks for combating, for combating corruption by improving the quality of governance, regulatory instrument, uh, instru infrastructural and personal capacities of law enforcement agencies in order to ensure efficient and effective service delivery. The chairman of the EFCC, Ola Ulukoyede, while noting that the new Ilon Rizuno command base is a commitment to providing conducive working environment for personnel and visitors to the commission, maintained that the base occupies a strategic place in the fight against financial crimes. Where the Ilon Rizuno command occupies a very strategic place in the financial crimes enforcement blueprint of the EFCC. Along with the Abuja Command, it is responsible for enforcement activities in most of the North Central region, with huge deposits of solid mineral resources, which exploitation has lately attracted bands of criminals like bees of honey. I do assure the EFCC and every sister organization agency of the continued support of our administration. The EFCC chairman and the attorney general say operatives must be uncompromising in current efforts to sanitize the business environment and support the country's drive to attract foreign and direct investments.